right guys, it's just your friendly neighborhood death squad team lead here, uh, letting you know that this video started out as a short, that's why it's gonna have a real weird format at the beginning, but then it levels out about, you know, maybe 20% of the way in. Uh, because what started out as a short, I was like, no, I better explain this a little better to everybody and kind of go through the steps a little better. So guys, I hope you enjoy, here we go. All right, so we've just started the conversion process from this horrible, well, it's not horrible, but it's less than ideal uh, body for the Baroness into the best uh, body that Marvel Legends has produced for Black Widow. Uh, as you can see, I've already started the breakdown for this one and it's, you know, already moved over the head. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take her legs also and put them over here. And we're gonna take as much of the armor as we can and put it over here. So let's see how it goes. First problem, leg joints, the hip joints, considerably bigger on this one than this one. So we'll have to modify a little bit. And in order to get the armor, oops, the armor to fit on her arm, geez, we had to pop her arms off. And this is what her arms look like inside of there, but definitely had to heat them up. Oh, here's a shot of the inside of the socket as well. All right, guys, so I was hoping to make this a short, but that, that's completely, it's, it's not gonna work. Um, it's not going to work. So this is going to be filmed like this because it started out. You know what? No, we'll film it this way because it started out as a short, but we're going to do it this way, the right way. So, uh, you guys saw the tear down initially. Um, this is what now I would not suggest tearing into this portion of black widow, the new black widow, because this is, this is kind of a new inside right here um it's not compatible with most um other figures what other thing i was going to do was take see if this breastplate could t come off uh, but yeah it doesn't it's a solid piece it's i thought it might have some give i was like well maybe they just glued no they didn't glue jack to it this is a solid piece uh, and i was hoping to pop this one off and put it on there but no not gonna do that uh, I am not going to throw this away because this might come in handy later. Might come in handy with a, a different figure. Figure. <laughs> I don't know when I'm ever going to get rid of that McFarlane accent. Anyways, uh, but yeah, we we popped off the arms, and um, this is what they look like on the inside. Again, you have to be really careful with these because sometimes if you don't pull them in the right direction, which is down and then out, uh, you might end up shearing this off. So um, be careful with these. Uh, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Again, we're, we're going over this a little slower because it started out as a short, but now oh, there's too much explaining here. Now, uh, also, as I showed you earlier, these uh, hip joints are much smaller than these hip joints, as you can see there. Uh, well, I don't know if you can see, but these are way bigger. So I essentially took a Dremel to them uh, to the legs that I want to use, which is these, drilled it out a little bit. Hopefully they'll be fine when I put them in there. Uh, but I haven't messed with these in case we have to fall back to those. So let's keep digging on it. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. And yeah, I really, I mean, her hair is pretty soft, so you can kind of move it around. But I've been tinkering with the idea of slicing into it so that uh, we can have a little more uh, dynamic poses. So it's not giving us such a hard time, such a hard fight with it, right? So we'll see how that plays out. All right, I'm gonna keep going here. Next step, uh, you know, let's get the legs on there, heat them up and then pop the legs on. And then we might have to, and then, well, let's do that first and then we'll cut back on. All right, so I'm not sure how I feel about because I, I added the underwear to her or the diaper uh, just to match the, the legs. Um, I don't know how I feel about that yet. I think I'm okay with it, but we'll see. But yeah, here are her legs. Here's the Baroness retro legs. Of course, these are double jointed. They are pinned, but I, I mean, they have the mobility that these have. I mean, not as smooth as butter as these, but still, I like the armor on these. And I definitely want a Baroness to have some kind of armor, some kind of a, you know, I might even put a paint of Valiverse uh, thing to put over her 
uh, when she runs into battle, right? And just maybe put a Cobra sticker on it. So let's keep going. It's time to do the arms. So next thing we got to do is take the arms here or the guards that she has. Let me see if I can focus there. The guards uh, and put them uh, in the socket and then run the arm through that socket. So uh, let me see, I'm doing this freehand, so it's a little tougher. So, the, you know, that socket would go, the figure figure would go there. Gosh, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what an affected accent. So the basically the guard, the, 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 the um, what do they call it? The, the shoulder thing would go there and then you would have uh, this go through that and into the joint there. So um, let's see how it goes. All right, so we're back at it, guys. We got our legs on, we got our arms on now, and you'll notice that, yeah, I had to kind of do some work on those. We'll kind of, you know, fill that in a little bit later as we go. I'm gonna have to probably take some uh, putty and fill that in a little bit. Let me see if I can focus on that, focus on that. Uh, fill that in a little bit or paint it up a little bit because it wouldn't, the arm, would not fit in there with the post uh, going through it. So we had to glue those on there. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Um, now, the other thing, I wanted to use this particular belt uh, with her, but the problem is I wanted that red logo. I want a Cobra logo. So thanks to Ollie's, we have lots of these little Baronesses running around I'm going to take that logo and stick it on that belt. And then we're going to put that belt on her and see how she looks. Be back in a second. All right, guys. So this is what we ended up with. You can see she's kind of still got a little bit of her armor. Uh, she's still got, you know, some of that armor there, armor in her legs. You know, the Cobra logo that I desperately wanted somewhere on here, but not to look tattooed or painted on or kind of mishmashed on there. I mean, it looks like it to me. It looks like it belongs, right? So it doesn't look, you know, I don't know, like just thrown on there. So I really like how she turned out ultimately. And that's, you know, ultimately that's what matters, right? Do you like the way she turns out? So, all right, guys, I didn't expect this. Come here, you. She's still got the crazy legs from the other one though. So it's not as bad, but still. Um, so anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did, do you not like the way she turned out? I mean, ultimately, all that matters is if you're happy with the result, right? So uh, let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for a few action shots. And I think you're, I think I like playing or setting her up uh, for these action shots. So I hope you enjoy them. Thanks. And again, if you liked it, if I informed you, if I amused you, and if you watch this long, get ready to hit the like button because, or even the subscribe button because you might like these action shots. Hey, have a great day, and I hope everyone's staying warm since we're gripped in this Arctic freeze.